Hitting the go live button. Already on. The Carrier Experience Podcast is a show for anyone who wants to grow their agency and be a titan of the insurance industry. Learn from a panel of experts who share their agency struggles, their experiences with the nation's best carriers, and share the marketing secrets that successful insurance agents are using today. Now, here's your host, the insurance bro, James Cias. Here we go. It is the first, the inaugural, the initial first ever episode of the Carrier Experience Podcast. And I am so excited to be hosting my very own. This is crazy. I don't think that I've ever hosted uh, any of the Business Bros podcast. I know that Hernan has done a lot of those by himself. Uh, and this is going to be my first show. I was sitting here for the first, for the last uh, five, 10 minutes, just watching the clock waiting for it to go down and feeling the nerves bubbling up like if i've never podcasted before but here i am here i am i made it i'm alive we're gonna be here uh there's a lot of things that i'm really really excited about uh first of all i was supposed to start this thing off with a guest my guest bailed out on me. It's okay. I don't feel so bad. Uh, I'm I'm really excited to be launching this thing. And uh, I do have, luckily, a special guest who's going to save me when I feel like I'm losing it. Uh, here he is, my bro, the business bro. What Turn up? On, see us. Holy what a... moly. You're on the left side of the screen today. I know. It's crazy. I'm on the host side, not the <laughs> co-host the host side. side. I yeah, will try yeah, to be. The, I don't. I will whatever. try to be the best uh, first guest you could possibly have. How about that? Oh well, I appreciate it. I mean, I'm gonna really, like sweating here because <laughs> it's weird to be actually hosting this as opposed to be your co-host. Most of the time when we're doing the Business Bros Pod, I'm you know chilling and the just kind of quiet, you know, playing with the soundboard, giving a little, you know. Uh... But. This time, I'm supposed to be the one primarily talking, so you know it's it's totally a different thing. But uh, I guess what I'm gonna jump into is is exactly your idea, um, what you mentioned before we started here, which is what is this show all about? Mm -hmm. What are we doing here at the Carrier Experience? So, um, first of all, I'll I'll talk a little bit about myself. Um, I have been in the insurance industry for coming up on seven years now, uh, which is amazing, uh, considering the fact that I know exactly how long I was in the Navy, seven years, seven months, and 21 days. Uh, I'm coming up on almost seven years of being an insurance agent. Uh, this October uh, will mark that seven years. So I'm, I've been an insurance agent uh, what, what a year less than I was in the Navy at this point. So... Um, How'd you get so, into yeah. insurance, dude? How did I get into the insurance industry? <laughs> it's all your fault. I got I got to point the other direction. I'm used to pointing this way because you're usually on that side, but now I got to point this way. Um, it's all your fault. You are our accountant over at uh, Pipeline Insurance, which, of course, is the show sponsor because it's just you know where I happen to work. Whoops, other side. Um, but yeah, so uh, you have been the accountant for uh, pipeline insurance for a pretty long time. I got out of the Navy and decided, uh, well, you pretty much said, Hey, uh, what are you going to do with your life? I said, I'm going to go to school and collect my GI bill and, you know, be a happy camper. And you're like, all right, well, let's start an insurance agency. And I just like with the podcast was like, all right, I guess we're starting an insurance agency. Um, so, you know, I went right ahead and uh, got licensed. Where did I get licensed at? Mike Russ. The Micro Schools, of course. Right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's let's slow down a little bit. Let's slow down a little bit. Because that, that's kind of an interesting story. And this is kind of where the the whole dynamic of of like the care experience and, and trying to make insurance fun and exciting and sexy and and you know thrilling. Because mm -hmm. 
the first time when I told you, all right, uh, if you're not going to do anything with your life or if you don't have any goals, let's go, let's, let's get you, let's get you in the insurance business. And I dragged you, I dragged you all the way to uh, Woodland, uh, to <laughs> oh, Ontario, yeah. right? I dragged you to Ontario yeah. into one of our, our, uh, our agency meetings. Yes. Uh, and you this. spoke zero insurance language. And I had no down, knowledge of the insurance language. And you sat down and you uh, listened to, you know, you got to meet Joe at that point, which mm -hmm. is, you know, you get to meet Joe, you get to meet Jimmy. Well, I think you already met Jimmy. I'm not even sure. Uh, no, I think that was the first time, maybe. Oh, first time. And then you had to meet uh, a bunch of the agents that were already part of our agency. Mm -hmm. um, and it was kind of cool to meet people. But then at the same time, you sat down and you got to listen to people speak insurance. So like, right. I, take yourself back a little bit. What was that day like? And, and how excited were you to say, yeah, okay, let's get into insurance? <sighs> excited was not the word. I was dreading it. It was uh not something that I was looking forward to by any means. It was uh, insurance a lot of times is something that people just kind of fall into is what I find. You know, I've been uh, not just an insurance agent, but I've been teaching insurance at the micro schools and uh, to all of our agents for, you know, the past five years. And one of the things that I really find is that people get into insurance for a lot of different reasons. Most of the time they fall into it. It's very, very rare to find someone who maybe grew up in the insurance space and was like, yeah, as soon as I turn 18 and, and can get my license, I'm going to go ahead and just become an insurance agent because that's what my dad did and that's what my grandpa did and whatever. Like, There aren't a lot of people that, that take this generationally. A lot of people just fall into it. So I was kind of, I was definitely one of those. I fell into it. And so that first day... I was completely lost. Uh, I remember sitting in that classroom and they're talking liabilities and hey, hey thanks, Jeff. Uh, they're talking, you know, liabilities and limits and loss ratios and uh, claims practices and, you know, like all these different, a bunch of different things that, that I really didn't understand. I mean, um, trying to think back into like specific terms, but uh, you know, just a lot of things that I totally didn't understand and I was completely lost, but I think I know where you're going with it, where here we are seven years later. And not only do I speak the language, I teach the language. So you're telling me there's a chance. There's a possibility, <laughs> right? That, that people can get into something. And how do you feel now about it? Like, how do you, when you, when you think of the insurance business, Compared to who you were at the beginning, what do you? How do you feel about it now? Why? What? What? You know, when you you wake up in the morning, you think about this stuff. You you're I implementing. I sleep you're about processing. it. I, I dream about it. It's pretty disgusting, honestly. Um, I <laughs> I love the musical Hamilton because, and you've been listening to it a little bit too. Uh, this guy is nonstop. I'm just always always thinking about it. And part of the reason why is because I completely completely changed my entire mindset about the insurance industry. So, like I was saying, a lot of people just fall into it. And one of the reasons why people like to get into the insurance space so much is because at least on the PNC side, it's required, right? If you want to drive a car, you have to have insurance. Why is insurance so important? You know what, Jeff? I will answer your question. But first, if you have, if you want to drive a car, you have to have insurance. If you want to buy a house, the bank's going to force you to, to get insurance. If you want to start a company, you want to have uh, a location, a physical location somewhere, your landlord's going to require you to have insurance. You want to hire employees? Guess what? State of California, 49 out of the 50 states require you to have insurance, right? So insurance is required. Why is it so important? I hope you're in short. <laughs> is because if you're Sean Connery and you get caught in a, in a Humvee, oh man, uh, yeah, that, that's definitely a terrible situation, but, um, and also a fake one. Why do you really <laughs> need insurance though? Um, insurance protects people, right? Insurance protects you. Insurance protects Insurance protects you. That's why you want it. That's why it's so important. Um, but the better way, the better thing that I want to say is that all of those are reasons why people have to buy insurance. But 
my mindset changed when I shifted away from well, everybody's got to buy it. So why not buy it from me to a mindset of service? And I think this is what uh, I want to, it, when I interview agents in the future, this is the kind of things that I want to establish, right? As insurance agents, we are providing a service. We are establishing ourselves as trusted advisors. So it's one thing to go out there and just, you know, get somebody's insurance information. What kind of car do they drive? How far do they drive to work? Um, you know, and just sell them the cheapest policy they possibly can. You all have seen those signs, $19 a month, $23 a month, whatever it is, right? You've all seen those signs. Um, but what insurance really does for people is it, protects their success. It protects your assets. It protects your success. And if you go over even to the um, life insurance side of things, it helps you to create generational wealth for tomorrow. This is where when I discovered my why statement, it changed the entire insurance game for me. I went from someone who says, well, everybody's got to have insurance. Why not buy it from me? to how can I help others create wealth today and generational wealth through this product that I'm selling? Try to make the world a better place. Absolutely. You know, I 100% believe that you may not be the one to change the world, but you can change the world for one, right? Mm -hmm. So I take that approach with every customer that I have. And I try to teach that to all of our agents over at Pipeline Insurance as well. When it comes to the products that we're selling, when it comes to insurance in general, it's not just about getting the cheapest product out there. It's really about understanding that we are being trusted to provide a comprehensive package of products that's going to protect our insured's assets all the way through and through. Look, You look like you have a question for me. Well, I'm, I'm kind of wondering because we can get into the technicalities of, of insurance and because I know when you speak to different agents, you definitely will, right? You're going to definitely yeah. get into the nitty gritty of insurance. Uh, but for today's show, today's a, I feel like it's an inaugural one, right? I mean, it's definitely it our first one. And, and when it comes to the carrier experience, what kind of fun stuff do you want to be able to do? Like, what uh, do we have any ideas of how we're going to make this sexy? How we're going to make this fun? Who are we going to target, mean, right? You mean besides the movie clips? I mean, the movie clips definitely are, <laughs> are entertaining, right? But because, you know, when you, when you were getting into it, you were talking about how you just, when you first got into the insurance business. Show me the money! It was coming down to price, true. right? Yeah. It was coming down to price. You got to buy it somewhere. Might as well buy it from me, right? But you shifted. You changed the way you were thinking about things. All of a sudden, it's not so much about the the price anymore. Uh, you literally go out and explain things to people. You even got to the point where uh, where it it isn't. It's something that you can easily explain to somebody and let them even know that hey, buying with me may not be your best option. Right. And yep. there's a lot of people who will get into, into any sales business, not just insurance, and do not understand the power of saying something like, I don't know. Right. So when, when we're going to, when you're going to be talking to new agents here in the near future, um, what kind of stuff you, you, you said you put together, you know, a list of some core things that you wanted to ask agents that you wanted to get out of people. What are some of those things that you wanted to ask them? Oh, man, I'm so glad that you reminded me about that because uh, I just need to actually find that real quick. Here we go. And my notes. A uh, lot of different things. So first of all, you know, we just like when we do the Business Bros podcast, we want to get to know the agents that are coming onto the show. But really, when it comes right down to it, I have four goals for this podcast. Four very simple goals. Number one. We want to get sponsors, right? We want uh, we want people to we want companies. I'm sorry to uh, sponsor their top agents. And so when our top agents are getting sponsored to be on this show, we want to highlight that sponsor and make sure that that sponsor knows that they're uh, that they're being praised and you know uh, that we're 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 really highlighting them, highlighting the successes that agents have with them. So go. I'm your huckleberry. Goal number one is to really make the sponsor shine. Goal number two 
is to highlight the guest. Now, anybody who's listened to the Business Bros Pod, anybody who knows me, knows that I am that guy who wears my heart on my sleeve. Right there, you can just just barely see it. Barely see it. Right, it's a birthmark. Wear my heart on my sleeve. It is my birthmark. Um, so my goal when I'm talking to a guest is to get to the heart. I want to figure out. I really want to dive deep with uh, these guests and figure out who they are, what makes them tick, and what's really going to make their their agencies successful. Because you know, I believe personally that in order to have the most successful insurance agency or business in general, you have to have a leader that cares about the people, about the people mm. that are working there. So uh, I really want to get to the heart of what makes these agents successful in their agencies. Goal number three, learn something new. That's what I want to do. Every time I talk to somebody, if I'm learning something new, then I guarantee my audience is learning something new as well. So I'm going to ask about and tactical advice. The, exactly. Exactly. I'm going to ask about systems, processes, and tools. Uh, so, you know, anybody who's listening that's in the insurance space, get ready to learn about different agency management systems that people are going to be using, maybe different CRMs, um, stuff like, I mean, for me, one of my big tools sounds silly, but Google Drive. It's huge, mm. right? Uh, training curriculum, like all of these different things are uh, the things that that new agents that are just listening, just getting started, will really get a good value from. And even agents that have been running their agency for a long time will think, oh, I should implement that, right? Mm. Take that little note, write that down, and figure out a way to implement that into your agency later on. Goal number four, have fun. Have that's right. Fun. That's it. That's Dude, what it's like all that. about. I like that. And and here's one of the things because because I've been thinking about the doing it in, in the Business Brothers show too is is asking the guest ahead of time to give us you know and I got this from from the one big tip right so uh, I was on the one big tip podcast and you go in there and there's one thing that you do on a regular basis that uh, that bring success right and and the the goal is, is simple it's it's aligned with one of your, one of your four goals there is to get them to say something that they do that they implement not something that they're thinking about doing not something that might possibly work if they try it one way or another something that is literally working for them right now that has attained a proven result because the truth of the matter is everybody takes on the business practice in their own way Right. Mm -hmm. But those who are practitioners, those who are out there, you know, selling, whether and it can become from many senses, right? Someone who's out there selling direct to the consumer, someone who's out there, um, you know, uh, that's a, a carrier rep, for example, and recruiting agents, someone who's a, a brokerage who is recruiting agents, someone who works for capital finance, who's who's trying to fund large policies. Right. All premium these finance. people have a uh, premium finance. Sorry. So all these different <laughs> uh you know, people in the insurance space have a strategy and a tactic to acquire clients, right? And and that's really, really what it comes down to oh, yeah. in, in any sales business. So if, and you know, I'm, I'm throwing my two cents because it is your show. But if we focus our attention on one of those things where we bring something practical and tactical so that everybody who listens to the show, they spend 30 minutes of their time and they walk out of this show with some piece of advice that they can implement today to acquire a new customer, some new that is a win. Right. That sure. is a win. That yeah. is the value that we're looking for. And if we can yeah. do it in a fun way, right? If we can do it in a fun way, Damn! They're <laughs> that's be the coming idea. Back. That's the idea. <laughs> and uh, you, you said it before. I don't remember which podcast you were listening to or if it was something that we said or uh, where exactly it came from. But uh, our goal, my goal is that our listeners gain more value from listening to the show than the amount of time that they put in. If what you learn on this show saves you 30 minutes over and over, and over again, because that's about how long we're going to be on this show. Uh, if if the things that you implement continue to bring value and it's worth that time, then we're going to uh, we're going to have people continuing to come back because that value is going to be there. And that's why it's so important for me to have agents on this show, because it's the agents that are out there that are doing this hard work, that are building systems, that are building agencies, that are training their people, that are recruiting, that are implementing systems and using all of these different tools. 
these agents that are out there are the ones that are the experts and those new agents that are just getting licensed that are just getting started that you know don't even know how to go out and get appointments anything like that these are the ones that are going to gain the most value from this show so we're really really excited uh to to be bringing people on and thank you for throwing that banner up uh if you do want to be a guest we're open invitation this is going to be a daily show so a lot of opportunity lots of um chances for you to get on the show right now schedule is pretty clear we're brand new we're trying to book people up right now so if you want to be on the show go to www.carrierexperience.com slash guest your calendar uh book the date on your calendar today. I uh, would definitely love to have as many people as I can from the insurance space. You don't necessarily have to be an insurance agent if you are uh, associ affiliated with the insurance space at all. Uh, there are actually some people that I was thinking about uh, that I've met at the insurance conventions that aren't agents at all. They do different things for the insurance space. So uh, people like valuers of companies right? if you are mm -hmm. someone who who values companies who who takes a company and says hey check out all your books this is what your company is worth i want to talk to you if you are someone who creates them for insurance agencies like uh, agency management systems systems cr systems anything like that I want to talk to you. I want to promote you. I want you to promote yourself on this show. Uh, let's get you out there, get you in front of as many agents as we can, because that is our targeted audience. That's who we want to be talking to. That's who we want uh, to be, you know, listening and tuning into the show is agents, agents, agents. Dude, I'm, I'm, I'm excited to see where this thing's going to go. Like, you know, when we when we started uh, the Business Bros podcast, we had no clue as to where we were going, and um, we set this timeline on ourselves to launch the Carrier Experience, and mm -hmm. and and even even though right, it came down we, to crunch time too. It came it came really it came down, down, to, down crunch to crunch time. time. Our right? intro video, ladies and gentlemen, our intro video came in fifteen minutes before the show started. We had thank you by the way, yet. thank you by the way. Uh, Adrian Fugati, Adrian Meek. If anybody needs uh, some good video um, videographer, I guess. I mean, this guy's amazing. I'll, I'll call him a videographer. I'm sure he has something that he would prefer to be called, but uh, videographer and artist. Uh, this guy's awesome. If you need some video work, definitely check him out. And you know what? I'm going to use this, this little bit of time to give out some more shout outs. Uh, I want to give a big shout out to my good friend, Alex Gomez. Uh, he's the one that the voiceover for the carrier experience. So was really, really uh, happy and ecstatic about that. Uh, I want to give another shout out to my other good friend, Jonathan, for this haircut. Because I uh, definitely had no to get that. No longer with the COVID hair. No longer De COVID yep, hair. Yep, exactly. No more COVID hair. Thanks to uh, Jonathan. And also uh, a final shout out to my good friend Gina. She is launching her first business. Well, not her first business, but she's launching her business. She took this outrageous step and quit her job. Uh, today is the first day that she's spending as an entrepreneur for her Mastering Mindfulness uh, course. And so big, huge shout out to her as well. Uh, I know that she's going to be out there killing it. So uh, those are my shout outs that I want to give out for today. And of course, Dude. all of my listeners, uh, I, you know, I've been putting this out on Instagram and everything, and I got uh, messages. Of course, mom called me and, you know, we got Jeff listening in who uh, I deeply appreciate, you know, coming over from the Business Bros uh, podcast, one of our one of our three loyal listeners uh, and anybody else who's who's listening. I can see on the screen that I've got five listeners right now. Uh, I really appreciate every single one of you every time uh, that I come on the show. I know that there's going to be new people listening and I'm just going to keep saying I appreciate every single person who's listening. Please share it. Subscribe. Uh, it's going to be available on iTunes, Spotify, everywhere where you find podcasts. Uh, we're going to be on YouTube, so look for the Carrier Experience on YouTube. Uh, we'll be there as well. Subscribe to all this stuff. The more subscribers I get, the higher the results are going to be. The more insurance agents that are going to listen into the show are going to be able to gain value from the experts that are going to be on here. It's time to turn insurance into an industry people want to be a part of. 
because there's already so many plus sides to this insurance space. I mean, when you talk about building a business, right, we always want cash flow coming in. There's right. no other business like the insurance business. Uh, things like, you know, I write a policy today. A homeowner's policy is always my favorite to cover because Me you write too. it at the beginning. People rarely shop it ever until they go to refinance or sell their home. So it's it lives in your book of business for a long time. You can turn around and nurture that client, keep Seven communication. Seven plus years. Exactly. Open it up to their auto, open it up to their business, open it up to their life. Right. But it's the way that you can get in and you build a book of business that pays you year over year over year. You guys are in the insurance mm -hmm. space. You already know you can build this on the side of what you already have. We have agents that have successfully built six figure books of business that pays them on a monthly basis through an existing company. They, are, they, they were they have a you know a payroll company. And they add insurance and boom, it's an extra six figures. You have people that are in taxes, right? And they add insurance effectively and boom, there's an, an additional six figures. We have a system in place where you can come in and decide that I only want to add insurance as a little side thing. I don't actually want to write all the business. I just want to send the referral somewhere where they get done. Boom. We got you. Like there's all these cool little systems that we've developed and put in place, which is the reason, one of the reasons why we launched the carry experience, because we want to show you how cool, how easy, how fun this whole insurance space actually is. And if we can teach you what we're doing, you can turn around and implement it and start making some more money. Who knows? You guys might be the next uh, addition to the pipeline insurance team. Uh, Cause you know, a lot of potential for aggressive expansion. Exactly. <laughs> <Joker>. <laughs> nice clip. So perfect, ladies and gents. Uh, I wanna, I wanna be one of the first fans to congratulate you, Ham, on uh, on the carrier experience launch. Nervous as all hell. I could yep. tell you were nervous as all hell at the beginning. <laughs> yeah, did heart you pounding? Heart ready pounding. To roll. Like talking really fast. I, I noticed myself like really slow down in my speech. You know, the first like. <laughs> four or five minutes and I was like <laughs> but I'm like okay <sighs> breathe a little it's all right here's what I here's what I suggest you do uh just just to help yourself out a little bit uh because for these first couple shows I'm pretty sure it's just gonna be you and I let's go back to old school business bro style and map out like specific topics that we want to talk about like this week here's topic number one here's topic number two and you're gonna teach me and then and then gradually we're gonna pick up uh we're gonna pick up guests and we'll have them pick a pick little sections or something or, or some their their big tip or their big you know practical tactical piece of advice uh, and fun. we'll go from there but that way we have you know specific content pieces that people are gonna want to come and check out things that they're gonna want to come and say hello up uh, hello to things that they're gonna want to comment and share and of course you got mom here saying, congratulations, Pop. So proud of you and your new podcast praying for you. Love you, mama. So as long as we keep the show, uh, you know, in, in, in good form, we'll stick to it. We'll try to stick to our 30 minutes section. Uh, you know, it's just the way it is. Sometimes they go longer. Sometimes they go mm -hmm. uh, you know, a little bit shorter, but uh, I'm excited and congrats, Ham. You're, you're kicking some booty today. Woohoo! First one ever. And, uh, you know, big shout out. Last shout out is to you, of course, because you demand you get me going on all these crazy adventures. Uh, you got me into the insurance space. You got me into the podcast space. And now here I am launching my very own. And uh, man, big, big props to you. I wouldn't do any of this stuff without you. You want to wanna know something um, bizarre and crazy all at the same time? Inaugural day for carrier experience. And it's also the first day of uh, James CEO 100% uh, Pipeline Team San Diego. That's like true. everything came to fruition at the exact same time. So now it's just time to, to kick some butt from here. Help as many people as possible. That is the goal. That is always the goal. Um, in fact, that is the only KPI that I care about anymore is how many people did I help today? So if there's ever anything that I can do to help you, please reach out to me. Uh, you can find me on social media at insurance bro uh, or of course, follow us uh, www.pipelineinsurance.com. If you're interested in being an agent, if you're interested in getting any insurance advice or conversation, I just love talking about this stuff. That's why I started a podcast around it. Yep. 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 
by the way, uh, one of our show sponsors is the Mike Russ Club and the Mike Russ uh, organization. So if you guys want to get your CE done, you want to get a license, make sure you guys go to MikeRuss.org. If you want to be part of the Mike Russ Club, it's MikeRussClub.com. Uh, when you sign up for any of the courses at MikeRuss.org, make sure you use the promo code business.bros. Uh, we'll get one done for carrier experience if you want to. But business.bros and Fine. get yourself a discount. Get your Woo-hoo. CE. Get it out of the way. You know it's coming up every two Two years for you insurance people that's the way it works get it done the right way with the best education in the biz. company out there mike russ.org all right there ladies and gents all right that's usually my line that, but that, i don't know how i know I cut it out right <laughs> you know you're gonna all right, ladies something. and gents <laughs> I, 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 don't, I, I don't know what else to say that's all we that's all folks Thank you for tuning in to the Carrier Experience Podcast. James is a CEO of the Pipeline team of San Diego and is always in the market for top talent. If you are an agent looking for a place to hang your license, visit PipelineInsurance.com backslash agent opportunities or send an email to newagent at PipelineInsurance.com. You can find James on all social media at Insurance Broham.